<laughs> Hi, you guys. Ginger Cook here. I love our little bird that's, uh, that uh, alerts me to the fact that the show is now live. We're doing an acrylic painting tonight of a backyard jungle kitty. And even though we've done many cats on YouTube in our academy, I think you're going to find this one fun. And I have some exciting news. We talked to our gal uh, that represents the Salvador paint. She said that uh, they're still willing to send them out as um, complimentary gifts in uh, for those who are watching our live videos. And you can, um, you know, enter tonight. We'll show you how you have a chance. And, of course, someone will... Uh, win the painting I'm doing tonight. So this is going to be great fun. We've got some exciting news about all kinds of things and more about that in a minute. Ginger Cook, the queen of color. With a blazing brush at the speed of light and a blank canvas, and a hearty yes and yes. The queen of color, Ginger Cook, and her sidekick, John Little, teach you to paint with acrylics. Uh-oh, somebody had the wrong camera on. What happened? I had you on. Oh, me up here? Well, I did, but I, I, I fixed it. Okay, well... The, Johnny on the spot. If it's on me, it's never the wrong camera. It's silly you. <laughs> Ooh, did I say that? <laughs> it wasn't me that said that. Yes, it's on me. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's always on you, my queen. It's always on you. There you go. Hi, you guys. All right, so, um, again, we, we're going to be doing a little 6 by 8 on real canvas, not paper, please. Um, not paper, please? No well, paper, yeah, please. Yeah, a lot of people paint on paper. It says acrylic paper, so they have this screwy idea that it's okay... For, to paint um, in a style other than watercolor style on it. And what happens when you're painting on acrylic paper, uh, just the first tip of that right out of the chute is that you will not get the same results that I get painting on real canvas. And so you can solve that dilemma by just taking a little bit of gloss beading and varnish and varnishing your paper. And then you can paint any old paper. It doesn't matter. But you do need that first layer. You okay. gotta, you gotta seal it. You gotta seal it. That's the important thing. It's just sometimes the advantage of painting on paper. Oh, what's that, Ginger? Well, you can take scissors and cut out the part you don't like and just make it smaller. I mean, <laughs> just, it's on you one can of do the your edges. own editing, really, like chop, chop, chop. So you know, sometimes paper can be okay. It, right? It's a new, it's a new style of cutting paper. Yeah, you keep something small, eight by ten and smaller, and you can always find frames for things with paper. Oh. You never want the glass, though. When you're buying frames, you never want the glass to touch your acrylic paint. Though you could use glass over it if. Um, Air it's gap. Not, if it's, it's like an air gap, if it's not touching. And so you can see we got a color wheel. This was my inspiration for the photo. I'm going to change it a little bit uh, here. And there's our little uh, kitten uh, looking here. We've got, I'm going ahead and still using the Salvador paint. So let me just show you. Hey, real let's quick. thank them one more time for willing to kick in and still keep giving these things out. This, this is some great paint here. This is lovely paint. And you know what we, the reason we talk a lot about it is that, you know, we are all the time in, look, it's ex this is not an inexpensive hobby. For those of you, know, it's just not. It's like golf. It's uh, painting is not inexpensive. You paint a thirty-eight by forty canvas, you can spend forty, fifty dollars just on the canvas. Oh, really? Sixteen by twenty is sort of they get that cheaper because there's a lot of canvases made in that size. But depending on what you buy, but then it costs some paint to change it, and people think they're saving money buying this cheap cheap stuff called um, beginner paints or student paints and what happens is you have to do so many layers on it you might as well not have bothered got the good stuff to begin with but you didn't save any money buying student paint in my opinion but the Salvador paint because the reason we like it and again there's all these colors you don't have to mix most of them you don't have to know that much and that there we have them a link on our Amazon store for under $25, you get this whole set with some brushes and a palette knife. And so it's it's a, if you're going to do small stuff, this is a very convenient set to do. I still use my big uh, uh, acrylics like my Holbeins and my Goldens for my larger paintings. These are very economical, fun to use. you got someone coming over, they want to paint. So uh, and, and plus, not only do I think they're good quality paint, but they're willing to um, make our show a little more fun by giving them, letting us give them away. So there, the, we'll have a drawing at the end of the show. 
for and, the uh, painting you're painting. For, and for, and not only for my painting, but a separate one for the paints. And no matter where you live in the world, apparently they're willing to ship them to you. Now, here's the caveat. If you mm -hmm. have to be able to do the live chat in order to end the to enter into these drawings. And so um, we we do our live shows Thursdays and Mondays, 5.30 Central Time. That's, that's of the United States. And so just, uh, if you know, don't, you, you know, I would say set your alarm. If it's in the middle of the night for you somewhere, <laughs> set your alarm. Get up. You don't want to miss those live. Don't miss the show. You have to get a chance to win something. Have some fun. My gosh, we're all hunkered down in this uh, quarantine jun junky stuff still. And... Let's have more fun. Let's just try to have a little windfall come your way. So again, I've got this little 6x8 canvas. It started with a, um, we just got kind of a dark, um, kind of black. That was, that was really the leftover of leftovers. Just as all the leftover paint was on here. Some sort of dark color, like dark burnt umber would be a good one to do. Um, again, John uses our leftover paint and, uh, you know, just paints our extra canvases that way. It's nice to have something. Um, ready to go. We're ready to go. Now... For those of you who would like the uh, the image of this, uh, you must be at least a basic supporter of ours, which is four ninety five a month. You know, you can sign up for one month and just don't sign up. Every once in a while, sign up for four ninety five and get your images. And you don't have to stay with us every month on that. That's a basic supporter, beginner acrylic academy, uh, beginner acrylic artist dot com. This is a uh, you know, it's just sort of, you know, a lot of people, a lot of artists have what they call Patreons. Do you support the artist? Do you appreciate what we do? We figure if you really appreciate what you do, that every once in a while, you might at least come over to the Beginner Curl Academy. And, and throw us know, five and, bucks. And, you know, and, buy and, us a and, cup and of coffee, as it were. Buy us a cup of coffee for us. We, you know, we're coming out twice a week, you know, twice a week with, with free videos and and um, uh, and, and instruction. And we, we don't think that's, we just think that... We appreciate people that appreciate us, too, and, and show their appreciation that way. We also appreciate those of you who donate during our live show. And you can do that either by, um, uh, do how, to explain how to do that while I paint the eyes, John. You're going to start with the eyes just yeah. like that? Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, you can make uh, donations to us either through Super Chat on YouTube. It's right there in your messaging area. There's a little dollar sign there. I do believe it is. Or we have a PayPal link that the moderators will pop up periodically or directly from our website, gingercooklive.gallery. There's a button there as well. So, uh, we so prefer the PayPal method because they only take 3% and YouTube takes 30%. Uh, John, explain a little bit about um, if somebody came later. Sometimes people will, even though they're not watching the show live, they, maybe they would like to participate and. How, that that would be go to our website, yes and yes? Yeah, yeah. We have a lot of people that will do that. They, they watch the show after the hours, and they go to gingercooklive.gallery and scroll on down and look for the donation button on there, and we have people that do that as well. Well, besides helping us replace cameras and computers and things like that, the other thing what this does, the other um, really helpful thing for us, uh, you know, and for others, is it helps a scholarship um, people to our academy that maybe, you know, some people have lost their jobs during this time or have other difficulties, and uh, um, you, you, you not only help us, but you help others uh, as well. You help help other artists as well, which, I, you know, can't go wrong doing that. Yes and yes? Yes and yes. So I, 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 whenever I'm painting a thing, I always want the eyes to start off white. Now I'm going to go ahead and work on the background, and then we'll come back to the cat, but we need the light. Who's like a Halloween cat right now? We need the eyes. So we're going to just come back on the background a little bit. And I'm in the dark green paints here. And uh, uh, it, it's come up, John. I, I saw this on Facebook. I answered it, and people were still saying the craziest stuff. And uh, it may be so crazy. I'm going to say it again. Because the more, the, some of the dumbest information gets thrown out there as fact on, in the, in, uh, on the Internet. Yes. This has been my experience. It's some really, really... If it's on the Internet, it must be true. It, you know, I mean, some really dumb information gets le leaked out as fact, and there's some... Um, here's the deal. So the questions come up um, many times. I need to know, Do if I go ahead and gesso my canvas, do I need to do a, a painting of an underpainting? Well, first off, you have to understand what's the difference between gesso and acrylic paint. 
Jasso is generally ground marble dust and some other stuff, depending <laughs> on who's doing it. That's and, true. And um, it was designed, what is Jasso designed to do? What is canvas? Canvas is fabric. It's like, it's fabric. It's like, it's a like what they make sails out of. That's, yeah. It was a very, artists started using it way back in the day, you know, back you know, hundreds of years ago. Well, they had all those used sail, you know, sailboats. Yeah, it was used on sailboats. And you know what? It's um, it was cheap. It. it was cheap, yep. and you could get it. It was it wasn't like it was. And then you could get you know they could do their own stretcher bars, and um, and they could uh, 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 go ahead and, and get the canvas. They painted on canvas, and then they painted on wood. Those were the two things they painted on. They were doing some really detailed stuff, like a panel. They would do it on really fine sanded wood, or sometimes they would do it on something called linen canvas which is even more fine it's a tighter weave and oiled and they use something called rabbit skin glue and it, which you can still buy if you're an oil painter and they would cook that and um which made a terrible smell in the kitchen i was going to say that doesn't really sound very and um <laughs> and they would put that on the canvas to keep it from soaking through so you had a surface that would hold paint but with acrylics remember acrylics are plastic uh, yeah i know they're plastic so so here's the deal. What happens is, is that uh, you, the reason you can't put two paintings together like this and leave them is that they'll do this, and you won't be able to pull them apart after a while. Well, that's a bad thing and a good thing, because the good thing is, is that when you put a layer of paint over acrylic, uh, rather over um, gesso, and let that dry. Now you've got given a bond, and it's so much easier to do the next coat. It's not that you have to do it, but you know it's so much easier. You don't the white of the uh, of the canvas doesn't sew through. And some people say, "Well, I just use colored gesso." Yeah, you can do that. Sure. I'm just talking about what's easier, okay? And what works really well. And that's why you'll see that in all our videos. And so, anyway, sorry. That's I'm on my soapbox on that, John, because it made me well, a little I, crazy. Well, I really feel like you are, and that's okay. I mean, a lot of people will buy a gessoed canvas, and they'll gesso it again, again in white, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. If you wanted to have a specific gesso underpainting, which we have done ourselves, we've done a um, we've done a black gesso. We use that quite often on some of the, uh, the ODG, the old dead guys that we copy, because they had very dark backgrounds or undercut, undercut, underpainting colors. So in that case, but then we still put a layer of, you know, we may just block in big areas with acrylic before we actually start the painting. Uh, any, anyway, you know, like Ginger says, the more layers you have of acrylic, the easier and smoother it is to do your blending, do your dry brushing, and the paints just behave better. That's why sometimes there's so much, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll have a canvas that didn't work out for whatever reason, and you're going to just turn the whole thing upside down and paint over. Rather than re it, just, um, uh, rather than, absolutely, rather than re your canvas, um, just turn the painting upside down and paint it again. Just paint on top of it, and you'll be amazed how much faster the picture goes. Your your intention works out so much better. Uh, what I mean by that is, um, you know, you intend a certain brush stroke, and you do it, and nothing happens. You've had that, right? Come on, admit it. You've had that. Absolutely. And um, and you'll find that your intention of um, of paint is so, is is so much more effective. See, it didn't take much to kind of lock her into the Hey, we'd like to thank today. Alan for the donation that came in through Super Chat to help you with your marvelous scholarship fund and for being just great, honest, and nice people. Oh, Alan. And with a smiley sweet. face. Thank you, well, Alan. smiley faces. That's nice. We and he used Super Chat, and we have one that came in through PayPal. That's from Miss Kim. Hi, Ginger and John. I got away a little early today so that I could watch live. I missed seeing the live show. See? Oh, oh Kim's out there visiting in uh, California. Thank and you very much, Kim. And uh, Stay away from those wildfires, so, so, I guess, so, they're having yeah, out there. I um, want to give a shout-out to Kim. You know, she's got um, some challenges going along in one of her family members right now, so we wish her the best and hope everything is, is uh, coming out uh, the way everybody hopes. So... Shout out to Kim here back. So thank you very much. And, uh, um, you know, it's just it's just interesting to me. Um, 
Uh, ooh, I love kind of layering the jungle, don't you? You just love those greens, don't you? I love all the greens in the Salvador <laughs> paint. He's just think ready about to go. Just, you just, just slap just, them just on just there. Slap it. You just paint these and go, you know what I mean? Just, just... Yeah, you know, that is one nice thing about the Salvador. Again, I mean, typically, typically we, we make our own greens, but sometimes quick little paintings, you just can't beat it. All right, so I'm going to dry this for a minute so oh, I don't get my greens excellent. into my browns. John's got something he can show you why I'm doing that. All righty. Let's give that a go. Now you can talk. Did now, I say you I, could I, talk yet? <laughs> I think some of the fun things you do when you're doing an animal painting, sometimes it's, oh. it, if you're doing an animal painting, am I back on? Is the sound back on? Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, I'll double check. Well, it seems a thingy going up and down. Okay. So <laughs> here's the deal. Sometimes you can do oh, um, yeah. you can do a um, do the eyes first. Okay? So um, I want to mention it's that because white, we, have a, eyes. we have a video on on our academy, and it's just about, you know, these were called rainbow cat eyes. Aren't this, this cat gorgeous? And then on uh, YouTube, here's one of my favorite ones. This is on YouTube, this uh, this cat, and look at the eyes. And sometimes the, the eyes really, really make the kitty. Um, here's another great example of an academy. If those of you who are new here don't know that John and I have an aca fine art academy, over 500 videos, we had new ones every week and it comes with personal art coaching. Here's one of my favorites of that. Look at these beautiful orange eyes on the cat. Yeah? Yes Snowball. Yes. And then can you back out and I'll show Taz real quick. Oh, that's my fave. All right, so, and then you, we, we, you can do the much bigger, but the eyes are key. Here's Taz, our, our tiger. And you can see that you can see that the eyes can really make a huge difference. Yes and yes. Leave it there just for a second. Yeah. yeah. So Look at that. this is Taz, and he's like 18 by 24, something like that, right? Yeah. And yeah. we have all sizes of canvases. So when you see me doing these little six by eights, we do those for YouTube. We do the bigger ones in our academy, um, and everything from beginner, never painted before, to more of an advanced lesson like this. So, uh, but you can tell that I'm rather fond of painting cats, and um, uh, so that those are just something I wanted to share with you. And I, so I'm going to start again with the eyes first. Um, and there's so many different ways to paint cat eyes, okay? And um, you might just just for fun when you're deciding how to paint the eyes, if you're going to do this cat, why don't you Google um, cat cats, cat eyes on uh, just Google Images and see all the different colors. That you can do. So I I like in this in this one I had the there's some green eyes right here. I think they're kind of pretty. These sort of blue green eyes. I'm going to exaggerate those a little bit. So I'm going to take something called uh, gold satin glazing medium from Golden. Uh, I have this big jar. I've been using it for years. You can buy this much smaller, like in this size container, would last you for a long time because you use just a drop. And if you didn't have that. Um, you could use maybe a little bit of your uh, your acrylic varnish, uh, you know, like gloss medium and varnish. Let's see, where's that coming out? There we go. Ginger, where did you find those giant rocks in Texas? Giant what? Oh, those rocks? Oh, we bought them. Yeah, you. <laughs> that was back. I I did. I made that fountain back in 1991. And um, we bought those rocks. So back in 91, they were like $450, $500 with the rocks. And we got the construction wholesale deal on them. <laughs> and they were so expensive. And uh, we used every one, okay? So, um, which oh, is... Oh, oh, hey, exciting news. Yes? Patricia would like to know, John, how is the back rack coming? You will be so pleased. The first video will be 
posted after tonight's show. I got all the pieces when we have started the assembly process. Yay! What you say is the Bacharach puzzle project? Great question. Glad you asked. Communitypuzzleproject.com is a website that we kind of use to host these little guys. And what we're doing is we take a painting and we cut it up. Well, I cut it up. And then I give it out to villagers, as I call them, people that want to participate in it and say, please paint me this part of a puzzle. They, are, they don't know what they're painting. I give them a Nobody little knows. sample. Nobody all finished. And, they'll, and then they're going to paint what they see. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, the first video will be posted after the show, provided I remember to do that. I got it edited right before the show. But you just got to make dinner, you guys. Yeah, get I got to feed posting. the queen. Then you might post it. You might get it to post something, right? <laughs> um, so, um, I'm, right now, is I'm, I've got some pansy flowers that I'm putting in here, so I'm going to go ahead and paint those white, as long as I'm thinking about them, because they, we want to do that. And uh, and you're doing white because because um, uh, this is a very dark background, and I want the fancies are either kind of a light purple color. So you want them to pop out, be bright, be bright and pop out. Um, there's one here too, and I'm not sure. I guess I can put it in. I, that'll have to dry if I do him. But I guess we can do that. You know, I find it interesting. Um, I scan these photograph these paintings to get the final image that we play with as far as, you know, put them on our website and everything. And as I'm scanning them, the light is penetrating through the paint. So I often wondered, you know, people said, well, you know, the color underneath the color makes a difference. And it does because it is reflecting back. Yeah. It, 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 it may, may appear opaque to you, but there is light coming through. Just kind of keep that in mind. There's an observation I made. Yes, I'm and a good here. one, John. Well, I thought it was interesting. Probably just talking to myself. No, certainly not you. <laughs> what brand of white paint? I know she doesn't usually use the Salvador. Oh, I like the golden. I really yeah. like golden. This is a creamy one. Yeah, Very I like smooth. the golden. I like the golden in the tubes, not in the jars. I'll tell you why I'm not a big fan of tubes in a jar. Because <laughs> if you... Dip in if you get if you can contaminate the jar really easy if you don't if you're not careful you could just you know somehow get the uh, color in there and then you don't have. I can imagine some people doing that. Well, I mean, then particularly non sock foldery people, they're more likely to happen. I'm not saying it doesn't, but I'm just saying um. It's bound to happen. It just, it just, uh, though, like anything else, anytime you buy a larger container of something, it's usually cheaper. So if you did the math, sometimes if you buy jars of colors that you use all the time, just a thought here, that if you do that, then what happens is is that uh, you'll probably save money, assuming you can get it all out of the bottom of the jar because it, before it all dries up, because you didn't get it, keep it sealed properly. So there's always that gamble. With the tube, even if you leave the cap off, you can just kind of poke a hole in it and still keep getting the paint. So for me, um, <laughs> go ahead and laugh at that. I, my, my queen, I would never laugh at you. What, you're laughing at me. No, that's no. Not, that's, it was, that's all right. No, no, it was Morgan. Morgan, Morgan was, Morgan's cutting up over here. I, I, all right. So <laughs> this has to dry for a second. And before, I want to show you guys something else as long as. Also, I wanted to know that we also have the grid for this. In the Beginner Acrylic Academy, we have the, the grid. Of, of the grid. The, the, and the, so the... Like I say, the reference photo for this will be in the Beginner Acrylic Academy. I took just part of this cat and made it bigger rather than do the whole picture. But you may like the whole picture. Okay? So, um, da da, drum roll, please. I feel like we almost have to what? play some Christmas music. But look oh. at this. This is our Winter Village series of nine paintings. Well, that's and seven of them. You have to show the other well, two. Well, we have we added two more to the right. set. We have two new p paintings to go with the set. This is the original seven, and you see we've got the toy shop and so forth. And John and I uh, went ahead, at, you know, uh, one year, and we got some little uh, tiny miniature polar bears and Santas and stuff, and we set up the sort of diorama. And we made the nicest 
um, decoration for the holidays. Put that on the mantle. It was really pretty. But um, here's the uh, here is our newest addition: the clocks and the uh, and coffee the coffee shop. the coffee cup shop and the clocks are, are our newest addition. Um, don't you love the little dog here? Uh, to our set. And what these do is they, um, what you do when you look at these, some of you who are not familiar with these, these are available on gingercookondemand.com. And the trick is that these gallery wrap 6x8s are very wide, and, and so you can paint all the way around them. Some of you have got the set. Look by Thursday for the new ones to be up in the store. If you're wanting to collect these, make sure that you buy enough of the little canvases so that you can still get them. They're because all the same it, size. Sometimes they, because you want them all the same size. Like the latest two we did, we had to get a little narrower because we couldn't get the wide ones anymore. But they're a little bit more narrow. And if you're going to do a whole set of these somewhere where you're going to display them, it might be nice to have them all, you know, with the same. Okay? So, uh, and that's why you don't want to, um, now it, it's true, you wouldn't have to paint them all the way around the edge. But I love to see the, see how they're done like that. And, um, uh, you know, we've got these, like these two go together, a little fountain in this. And you can set up this whole scene, which is so cool. Like, for instance, here's the bakery with the, um, with the brick. And the newest one, see, I, I'm very careful to make sure that these all go. See the newest one, see how the bricks, um, and this, uh, they, all, they all tie in. You'd like, uh -huh. to have, you'd like to have a little coffee with your donut. Yeah, you could do, you'd probably do either side, but you see see what I mean? They all tie in, and um, so that's kind of neat because you we, we it took us two years, and another two years to get two more done in the series, but if you are excited about that, that's what we've got coming, and, and you've got gingercookondemand.com, and then what you do is you just, uh, if you haven't started the series, time to get them now. You can buy those canvases either at Dick, dickblick.com or I think uh, Cheap Joe's may have them. Sometimes Texas Artist does .com. L look around, but make sure you, you've got enough. And we also have a summer series, summer set. These are also. six by eight. The, the original well, size was a six by eight by 13 sixteenths. Yeah. So, I mean, I just think that's kind of good to know. Don't you guys think so? I think it's great to know. Yeah. Well, okay. I wanted to know that. Yeah, you wanted to know that, I right? did want to know that. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. So, um, look, you'll notice I have a little paper towel right here, so I see how I'm wiping off my brush? Not really. Can you not see that? <laughs> no. I well, mean, no. Okay, too we can bad. Kind of, we can kind of see it because you're down on your palette, but it's fine. So you get the idea. I can't control that camera. I love all the little colors out here. It's so much easier to use, right? Don't we have a pet store in the European village? Yes, we have a pet store in the European village. You betcha. I guess you could you could buy the European village set. We have two sets. We have the winter winter village set, which you just showed you, and we have the European village set. It just adds snow to it. If you have some of the winter ones, you can figure out how to do the European ones and add to it. Because they're all different. We didn't we didn't cross contaminate the the images. Like that, cross contaminate the images. Well, I'm trying to really grasp my <laughs> my head around that terminology and all, but that that, that didn't that didn't compute to you. Yeah, it really didn't. Cupcake. No, nah, it didn't, didn't work for me. That? No, well, that's sorry. Yeah, that was brilliant, right? <laughs> I don't think that was a moment of brilliance. Sorry. Uh, uh, just, eh. Well, what do you know? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> silly me. Silly me. Yeah. What do you know? What about a wine shop? I think we had that's in the European. Yeah, set that's too. in the wine shops in the European village in the summer series. You know how those Europeans are. Yeah. Well, that, they don't, there's not. A, yeah. They don't have snow. I remember it's a true story that when Cinnamon and I first went to France. Back in uh, right after 9/11, we 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 went to France to paint, and I had rented this large, large, 26-room um, uh, house from some Americans. It was a bed and breakfast, and they closed it for the winter. And they rented. It. They said we could have a couple rooms, and I think I got it for like 
they 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 were gonna let us, they were kind of scholarshiping it. Um, you had to tell them why you wanted it, and I had I had a big art show coming up, and I wanted to paint some European stuff, and you know anyway they they gave it to me for like a thousand dollars for the month. This and so we had the kitchen. We of course we didn't have all twenty six rooms, but we well we, the place was really haunted and everything it was creepy. But um, uh, anyway the um, we made friends with the neighbors. And uh, everybody wanted to, you know, we were in a high up in the mountains in um, Carcassonne, of Carcassonne, and the, um, the people were, um, the, the people that lived in that village, I mean, they'd lived there for centuries, you know, I mean, their families had lived there for centuries. It was one of those kind of places, right? Now, they were very, very friendly to us and uh, invited us to a neighborhood party. I mean, it was really sweet, right? And so we thought we would get some. I thought we should bring something like some wine, right? Now, you have to understand, I don't drink. I don't know the first thing about wine. had no idea that these people were all making their own, right? Clear down to soaking even the um, uh, prunes in the brandy for you know, a couple of years so they'd have brandied prunes for breakfast instead of, you know, normal stuff, right? So you, have to, you can appreciate the fact that um, uh, I, I, we went to the grocery store and uh, that, this is fun. this is some fun story. The first time we went to the grocery store, we were up in the mountains, and uh, we were about to th probably an hour away from the uh, grocery store. We had to drive down the mountain to get the to get to the groceries. And the first day we got there, it started to snow. And um, I'm looking at that, going, you know, and I, you know, was a skier and no, no, know a little bit about snow, and. Um, <laughs> It's thinking, you know, we don't have any chains on the car. We've rented this car. We might not get, even get back up. We'd better get our butt moving and get down the mountain, get some food, because we had none, and um, and get back up. Yes and yes. So, um, yeah, so that's th that was the big plan. That was our big plan, was to do that. And um, uh, so anyway, we get to the grocery store. It's a great story. We get to the grocery store, and um, they've got all the dumb carts locked up. Like that, you know, and you can't just go get a cart, and you need some sort of coin to get a cart so you can go in the store. Oh, I've seen that before. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, uh, you know, I, it's probably a wonderful way to get people to return carts. I'm sure that that's just splendid, right? But you know, for us, it was um, um, it was a little challenging because we couldn't figure out how to get the carts, and I'm sitting there watching and. We don't have any. We don't have any French money. We got some French money. We got some. I think of the. I think the carts were like probably fifty cents or something. Our equivalent of fifty cents or something like that. And I think. And I thought, well, maybe we can bribe somebody into giving us their cart, and then we'll return it, and then we'll get the coin, and we'll always have the coin. <laughs> so, so, you know, and, and again, my French is uh, like high school French, yeah. And uh, I'm trying to think how I'm going to ask somebody. <laughs> So they don't feel like this American is holding them up, right? <laughs> Give me your card, right? <laughs> so, um, uh, uh, you know, so I probably the anglais, and then you know, and I finally found someone that did. I said, I, I wonder if I could buy your cart from you. Here's here's my probably equivalent of a dollar, right? And uh, I have this, you know, and um, um, here, here's a dollar, but I need your card. I don't have any change, and here's a dollar. And um, so th the person sold me their cart. You got, you got it for a buck? Yeah, I got it for a buck. And then when we took it back, we took the little 50-cent piece and put it in the glove box, or not the glove box, in the cigarette ashtray thing of the of the rental car, so we always had this precious coin to be, <laughs> to be able to get a cart, right? Because, I mean, just if you have the wrong change, you don't get any cart, yeah? You don't get anything. You know, there's no cart with the wrong change. So, um, anyway, that was our sort of kind of our funny little cart story. So anyway, we get in there to buy the wine, right? That was the purpose. But, you know, we go back sometime later, you know, we, we got the first groceries, and then we went in, we went back to the store to get the wine. And what I noticed was they had, you know, a whole aisle devoted to wine, which is no surprise. They were in France, right? Okay. Had this whole aisle devoted to that. And um, I have no idea what to get. Everything's like two, three bucks. And, I mean, you know, that's, uh, we have something in, California that first came out with it is called a two buck chuck. Do you remember that, John? Yeah. And it was a it was a wine from the one of the vineyards in Northern California had figured out that they could sell a lot of wine for two bucks, um, and 
it wasn't bad wine even, but they, they, they were sort of a slang, two buck, two bucks, ch two buck chuck. So, um, anyhow, uh, so what we ended up doing was, I, I thought that can't be any good. We can't, if it's two dollars, it can't, not knowing anything about wine, if it's two bucks, it, can, it must be crummy. So we can't go to somebody's house and offer them crummy stuff, yeah? So what we decided to do instead was I went and found something, we're about 25 bucks. And I thought this ought to be good, you know, just that 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 looked like kind of worthy, right? Having never brought wine to anybody's house for dinner in my life, well, one other time, which was a disaster. But I I think I have these wine disasters. So anyway, the upshot of it was is that um, the um, uh, we go to this that their house that this house and they they hadn't just it wasn't just sort of us and some friends for dinner they. They had invited, my gosh, these people had invited everybody, you know, that they knew, I think, to meet the Americans, the artists, the American artists, that was it, right? Meet the American artists. And I, I, one of the guys was, uh, was in real estate, the guy that owned the house, and I think he may have had some ulterior motives in hoping he could sell us some French property and we'd come over there, you know, because um, he had done that with another artist who will tell about her, that was Mary, We'll tell which we've never met Mary, but uh, whenever we say Mary, we go Mary, you know, you know, Mary, the artist Mary. But anyway, um, so anyway, he he invited us for dinner, and so we sh show up with this wine. It's a gift, right? Oh, and then I wasn't sure if anybody wine, wine so I threw in a six pack of beer in case that might have been an option. I don't know, just just did right, and. Um, he looked at the wine, he looked at me, and he said, thank you very much, we'll save this for Christmas. <laughs> Apparently what I had gotten and was considered so fancy that it wasn't worthy to me, it wouldn't have drunk it then, it was apparently. So, it, and then it turned out everybody grew their own, you know, grapes and made their own wines, and this was just part of the thing. So yeah, that's a long explanation of our trip over there. We had a nice time at the party, everybody was really sweet. That's the one thing I will say is that everybody was so, so nice to us. Um, in in France when we went, I just people were really just delightful, and uh, we ran into very friendly, helpful, <coughs> kind people, and um, we went back again that spring, and rented a house up the hill, um, and uh, which was fun too, and uh, had a nice I know go we. France was good. Do you remember when you started painting with Salvador? It was during the quarantine quickies. When did well, that yeah, start? We started the Salvador and the quarantine quickies. They had sent us some before Christmas. People send us, you have to understand, companies send us stuff all the time and ask us to try it. And mostly we don't. I feel like it's, it's confusing to people and didn't want to do it. But, you know, for some, you know, for some reason we, we thought, well, okay, we'll try well, This it. was a complete kit. Brushes, everything, whole can caboodle. For under 25 bucks. And I thought if it has a chance of being good... This would be a good solution for people that are on a budget, want to paint, and because these, th you know, this paints lasted a long, long time, and um, you get a lot of paintings out of it. We did get a lot of paintings out of it. I mean, so I guess we started in the quarantine quickies. When when was that start? Mar and we February? we went through a whole March? month of quarantine quickies every day, twice. Well, we it? did six, every we had day 60. For, Yeah, and and we and a kit lasted us like a long time, and we still thought, and then. Um, you know, and then they offered to, you know, let us give away some, which I thought was really sweet. And they had that discount code, which was another, uh, um, 15% uh, off. Uh, I mean, my gosh. I'm not really sure if that did that. We have a discount code in our description. I'm not sure if that is still working. I heard it was supposed to end at the end of, uh, July, but if somebody buys one and tries it, let us know. But, but but we just felt like it was um, an awfully, it was just the value for the money was terrific. How's that? Yeah. That's what, that's what we think. It's the value for the money was terrific. And, um, and we were delighted to, um, to have it, you know, and, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm enjoying painting with them. I mean, I'm not having any uh, trouble painting with them. Um, as you can see, there, it works out pretty well here. Um, Putting a lot of color in that kitty. 
Oh yeah, there's a lot of color in that kitty. The kitty's fun. There's a lot of color in here. You start off with something kind of dark so that you can let some of the dark show. I am using a little bit of black because it's in the kit and I thought why not, right? Why not? But um, you know, you wouldn't have to. You can get a great yellow, a great green with yellow and black. Uh huh. You can absolutely. How are you making the peach ears for the cut for the ears? The peach is just uh, white and um, burnt sienna. It's kind of a nice color, isn't it? Just see, see, see. It's very peachy, white and burnt sienna. Good skin tones too, by the way. Becky says she got her paints from Salvador. Does she? I went, I, well, you know, and one person said, well, they didn't like them because of this, that, and the other. Um, they are okay. not a heavy body paint. They're, they're, Don't they're treat soft them like body. a heavy body they're, paint. They're soft body paint, and we know that. They're soft body. But for some time, I mean, they're very, to me, to, you, know, for, and, you know, maybe they're not for everybody. And we're not, you know, they're not paying us to say it. We just thought it was, I think, look, we've been on YouTube for a while, and I love giveaways. And I know that some of you are watching just because you think it might be fun to get some. A giveaway. That's okay. Well, we appreciate it. I think it makes our show a little bit more entertaining when we can do that. Yes and yes. And uh, so, you know, we're giving... I think it's nice to be able to do that. How's that? Hey, we'd like to thank a couple people for some donations that came in through the PayPal system here. We got one from Yochi. Oh, thank Appreciate you, Appreciate that donation. And we had another one slip by me. There it is there. That was Kim's. We have another one in here. And I believe it was Mary. Yes, it, indeed it was. Thank you very much, Mary. Appreciate that. And another one came in. We, we appreciate it very much. And that's from Yvonne. Do you have anyone in mind? Yvonne? I believe we do. She wants to have her donation go to a scholarship person. I think we can grant your it's wish. A, it's a, somebody was writing. I have someone in mind right now. Somebody was writing me today and um, thought maybe when her husband um, got paid again, she might be able to do one of the 595 basic supporters. And I think she'd be a lovely person to scholarship. We can take care of that. You know what I mean? So thank you, everyone, for the donations. Uh, yeah, we yeah. greatly appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Now, um, Alan got his paints from Salvador, and he's in the UK. Oh, isn't that great? Yeah, I mean, I'm telling you I don't you know what. if um, Andrew has his yet. I, don't, I think he did. I don't think he's painted with him yet. Well, you know what I mean? If you're doing big paintings, you know, the, these are fun for... Look... I always tell people, before you do some big, giant painting, you guys, which is fun, right? Do it a little first, see how it goes. It's a lot easier to <laughs> fix the design when it's small rather than fix it when it's big, and then suddenly you've got to do something, yeah? So. If we use your link for the other stuff, do you get points for that, too? Yes, we do. If you would use our Amazon link for all your Amazon shopping, before we would really appreciate it. you've ever bought anything? It. I'm telling you what. And I, there's nowhere to thank Amazon, but I just want to thank them for being open. It was you know tough I mean? going in the very beginning as they were getting organized, but... You know, I just appreciate the fact they're open and available for, for us, um, so many it of really us. May, it really leaves us not to have to go out. John and I have not been out uh, for... Um, well, I just go out once a week, but we have not gone out to do anything. I haven't gone out at all. Um, I, uh, one of the things that had occurred to me was um, that it might be fun to... You know, have some live plants in the house since we're home. But uh, and then I found um, all these companies that would deliver live plants. Apparently, live. Some some apparently come dead. You got to read the <laughs> reviews on these things. I don't know why anybody would send someone a done, dead plant and not replace it. Because I, people like me, read those reviews and think, well, <laughs> not buying anything from you, right? So, but anyway, we've. Um, uh, I'm just doing a little dry brushing here on the cat, see, on his nose. Uh -oh. Gwen got her paints down in Panama, that's in Central America, for those that are geographically challenged. 
Are you suggesting people might be? I would not think of that, my queen. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. How long do Salvador paints last unopened? I would think, oh, probably 50 years. Yeah. They're sealed. Oh, shoot, I've got some golden paints that I've had. Uh, we have that other, that it, other you brand. Know, it's, it's golden. For me, golden. I'm trying to talk about it in the jars, like some of their mediums and stuff. I've had some Liquitex that the jars have dried up, you know, the, once you open yeah. them. And some people suggest putting saran wrap on top of the thing and then closing the jars, which is clever. But uh, some of my golden stuff has stayed 20 years. Yeah. It's still good. It, 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 it's air, you guys. Air is what kind of is the killer. Air. Air is the killer. Now look what happens with these Salvador paints. Let me just show you this. Because, the, because they come, here's how they come. They come sealed. Well, that one's open. We opened that one. So let me show you another one. They come sealed. See? Like that. And you have a little, in the cap, you have a little pokey thing. You can poke it. See? Yep. To open it up. To open it up. Now and that was at our team. suggestion, by the way. The, the old, the first sets didn't have those. And we yeah, said... It drove me nuts. And it, we said, we need someone. And they changed the... Listen, these guys changed the caps for us because we complained. <laughs> and then no, we, we said, made a suggestion. Well, I know, but still, it probably came off as a complaint to them. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we said, it's all very nice, but I wish you had a bigger tube of white. And they came up with another tube of white besides the Double small size. one. So double whites. Just that, you know, it's a crown. So, I mean, I have to say that... Um, they're li they're, they listen. They're very responsive. I think, for me as an artist, it um, is very nice when um, I feel like companies hear me. Does that make sense? I'm just using... Well, I appreciate that when they do that. What size angle are you using right now, Queen? Three-eighths or a quarter? My glasses on. The, oh, quarter. Quarter. I'm going to go ahead and glaze the top of these eyes right here like that. See that? I'm going to glaze the top right here like that. But about from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. This was a circle. Yeah. Okay. Glaze the top of those. Now let's take some white and lighten the bottom of the bottom of these. Moderator Steffi has a good idea. How about some more thumbs up, people? Come on, there's 513 of you, 292, 294. Thumbs up, come on. It won't hurt you. It's yeah. painless, even. Yeah. And YouTube likes to see that action. Okay, so we got that. See how we're starting to get those eyes? Well, Vivian's got the right idea. The knowledge you share on every show is a priceless giveaway every day. Thank you. I like well, that. You know, I appreciate that because we ought to copy that down. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. And and I tell you what, I um, I often you'll find me repeating stuff uh, because um, it's hard. I know it's hard for people to remember everything every all the time. Here, I'll turn this sideways. It's all, sometimes for me, it's easier to pull a brush stroke toward me than it is. To, oh, you know, I would definitely be rotating things. Yeah. Your hand naturally goes in a certain direction. Well, it wants to come to and watch. Focus in on my hand for a minute, John. I, I, I am. Do you notice that this, how relaxed this finger is? Oh, it's this very thumb, relaxed. And this thing, middle finger holding the brush, the, the, the index finger is just... He's going along all, for the ride. Keeping along. There's, there's none of this. There's none of this where this is so tight. If you're finding that your hand is tight, you can't, the movements are too off. You've got to loosen your hand, the, either do from the wrist or the shoulder. Um, really, break this habit immediately, because this is how handwriting is taught in school, and no wonder nobody wants to do it. Okay? It wasn't taught in school when I was going to school, but because I had, my teacher was like Methuselah or something, <laughs> the one I had in boarding school. She, gosh, she was so old. But... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tell us what you really think. Well, she was. But she knew stuff. I'm not saying she wasn't wise or wonderful or any of that stuff, but she was old, man. Okay, so you see how the little kitty's coming along here, yeah? PJ, and, um, uh, PJ used the Salvador paints with some painting paste, and it came out nice. We've never done that yet. With what, what? Adding, uh, like, an impasto, a medium, a thick medium, a gel. Oh, I bet that probably, we haven't tried that yet, but it's good. that's good to know, yes and yes. Well, it's a very rich, very pigmented paint. 
And I can say it that I'm way. I'm taking a little bit of this sort of red and blue together and I'm going to make a little purple flower here. I'm not done with the eyes, I'm just doing this, right? Um, because I can. I'm going to take a little bit of the... No, that was not a clear glaze you put, that was... No, a that was just paint. Uh, no, on top of the eyes, when you did the eyes? No, that was just paint. The, the, I did the glaze on top here, but on the bottom I didn't. That was just a, like a little bit okay, of color. When you say the glaze, it was just clear glaze? Uh, or did no, you have I a color, the color it? put the color on it. You were talking, so you didn't hear. <laughs> oh, touche. <laughs> You were talking. That surprised me at school. John, uh, what did I just say? Well, if it was important, I would know. <laughs> Didn't like that answer either. Yeah, no, I remember there was this kid in school that, um, he was so funny. He uh, he would say things like, um, the teacher would say, uh, what, what is the answer to something? I don't know, whatever the answer was that she wanted, right, to something, right? And he'd say, I give up, what is it? I thought he was hilarious. <laughs> Uh, I got rated class clown. I don't understand that. Okay, no. I can't imagine. No. Certainly not you, mm. right? Class clown and biggest flirt. I don't get I don't see I don't see it either well, way. Well, John is a big flirt. I don't see that. I don't see like, where do you get off with that? Well, I tell you where do you guys wanna know? Shall we tell you? Shall we tell you? That's right. <laughs> If you gave the males in the room the same attention you gave all the females when you walked in, then I would say you were just nice to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's, it's, a, it's a known fact. I prefer females to males. Females seem to have more intelligence. Okay, but still, when we, like we're on a cruise ship, right? If, um, if, we're at the, um, if we're walking into the dining room and they've got somebody there to have you wash the hands... And if it's a guy, you sat and chat with him a little bit. If it's a female, you'll talk to them longer. Now, I don't have a problem with that. I don't care. But I'm just saying that some people might consider that flirting. Really? Yes, they might. They might. Now, not everybody, John, I'm sure, but uh, some people so I might. I just never saw that. Well, Karen said the same thing. You're such a big flirt. You well, your first either. wife said the same thing, too. So that ought to be sort of, the, <laughs> where's your first clue here, baby? Uh, but I'm just saying that, uh, you know, that's just who you are, and I, we don't mind. Okay, good. And, you know, and when you're nice to the waitress, we get better service, and it's good I tell you, I get great service. I, I taught that to my boy, and, you know, the, he gets treated like a royalty. Yeah. Well, but I'm just saying that, you know, just, you know. Just all saying, I ask is that you treat people how you want to be treated. That's all I've ever said. I, I know, but I'm just saying, I'm just talking about, we're not talking, don't, don't, don't digress here, you're changing the subject now. The see how changed the subject here, you're trying to change, <laughs> trying to change the subject. I'm just saying that, um, like, um, I remember when uh, Cinnamon's dad, before we were married, we were dating, and, uh, well, actually, we were kind of living together, so, you know, back when nobody did that, but anyway, like, I think I was like the first one or something, but anyway, we were living together. And I had a job at this ice skating rink, uh, passing out ice skates, because, you know, a lot of, not a lot of skills at 17, 18, or whatever I was, probably 17. And um, just come back, you know. And um, he came into the ice skating rink to see what see what was going on, to, I guess to see me, to pick me up or something from work. Cause I, my motorcycle was, I was had a motorcycle, but I think it wasn't working as well or something, right? And um, it had gotten cold in there, and I was sitting on the lap of the ski, one of the instructors. Do was, tell. Do I want to hear this story? He was really upset. And I just thought it was so funny. I'm just being friendly. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I was cold. He offered. Who knew? Why is this a problem? Why are you so upset? You really should try to calm down more. This is, that can't be good for you. <laughs> hey, um, hey, hey, wait. Are you done with that story? Sure. Okay. We have a painting question. Sure. Let's get, let's get focused on what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> What's the difference between the nap crimson and just crimson? Naphthal crimson and what? Regular crimson. You know, I don't know. I've got <laughs> something called Adventures in Red. You might want to review it. I can't remember what I said because I've got all these reds and looked at them. And you, much like lipsticks, many brands use a use, different use name a, for the same color. Use different names for different colors. It's just like, for instance, you could, you know, here's a thing. Let's all bitch about this together. One, two, three. <laughs> bitch! Bitch time. Right. Okay, so 
when you buy a brush, like for instance, um, this brush is a flat and it's a number something or other. What is this? A number eight. Number eight, right? Yeah. But if you buy a different brand, this That's is a, a fourteen. That says ten. It says fourteen right here, doesn't it? That looks like a ten. Oh yeah. <laughs> How do you get a four out of a zero? All right, but that's a ten. This is an eight, and look, it's little. The numbers don't go from brand to brand. They mean diddly squat. The same as colors. They mean diddly, diddly squat. squat. I'm just <laughs> saying there's no um, consistency. Yeah? No yes. consistency, which I personally find rather offensive. What do you think? Don't you think they should have some consistency? And, they, of course, they never will because they can't all agree. Oh, have the best they know. And uh, so, the, so you as a consumer, you go to, um, you go to buy your, uh, I think I want a yellow pansy here. We're going to change that. It's not, let's just, let's be bold and do a yellow one. You wild the, and crazy girl, yeah. I think we'll do a yellow pansy here. Now remember, if you want an opportunity to win this painting or a Salvador paint kit, make sure you enter the giveaway drawing that we'll have at the end of the shoe. Moderators will have a link that's posted up there periodically. And typically after yeah. I say this, they do that. I want to mention that Cinnamon's, when I was dating C Cinnamon's dad, he was 27. And I was like 17, 18. I think I lied about how old I was, so in all fairness to him. I'm sure I did. And then uh, when we, we got married when I was 18. That's what people did back in those days, you know. And uh, uh, anyway, it was, it, was, it, was, it was a scandalous thing. It was totally scandalous. My mother was um, wildly upset about all of it. But not kind of. She, she, well, she wasn't really. I think she was more upset that I left college, kind of. I don't, I don't know. Maybe she didn't care. Anyway, sorry, I digress. But um, I like these colors here. Do you see how this? Do you see? I like the yellow. I don't know if I'll leave it totally yellow. I think it should be yellow and maybe pink. What do you think? Hey, I'd like Fancy. to thank Alan for the donation once again. Okay, would love to say, but bedtime in the UK. Thank you again for a great lesson on the ferocious putty tats. Stay safe, everyone. We'll catch up with you all soon. Please don't forget the frontline workers. Indeed, indeed. And they're still doing it. They're still doing it. Um, frontline workers, yeah. And um, working very hard, too. People, you know, we... It's just, I don't think anybody had any clue this was just going to keep going on and on, did they? No. I think this is something we're all living through. And No, um, I thought, you know, it would be like the sniffles. Come and go, and we can get back to our cruising. Ha! Huh, there's a dream. Well, yeah, and um, so, you know, the upshot of all of it is that uh, we're all just staying inside. So thus we did the puzzle project, which is a total free, free little project. You guys have to join anything. Just uh, sign up if you want to do one of the puzzles. And we're making uh, T-shirts uh, available when the puzzles are done. So people, if they want to, you know. Different merchandise. Different merchandise that people can then show that they, where they participated. Azura Muse Nap Crimson is a warm crimson. It mixes better with warm colors. And crimson is a cool and mixes with the cool colors. Well, see? See, somebody knew that. That's excellent. Thank you very much for sharing I bet sharing they Googled it. it. I would have Googled it. I, I'm a Googler. What's that book you have, John? We tell everybody to get that book. Daniel Elliott was you know, always so, using that. It's it's a it's, it's a, like the encyclopedia. It page. is, but it is. It's not an easy read. No, it's it's like it's like reading an encyclopedia. You're going oh hum ho oh, hum, but it basically goes through all the brands of paint and the different colors and says so this color in this company and this not just acrylics, it's oils and watercolors. This color in this company is this color in another company. It's like one of your references. You really ought to, everybody really ought to have one, right? I think. I th everybody ought to have one of those books. Hey, did you bring the massager up today? I did. I'm going to show the massager, too. What hair dryer would you recommend for drying your paints? 
Oh, I love this one that was the gift. This was um, some, one of our students sent us this, and it's called an Infinity Pro. I love it. It has a by little... Con Air. By Con Air. I just It's lightweight. I absolutely love it. And the trick is, when you're drying something, <laughs> when, when you're drying it, to put, do the hot air and then give it a blast of cold air. If it still feels sticky, it's not dry. Now, isn't there another tip you'd like to share when you're drawing, drawing a Posca pen? Oh, yeah. When you're drawing an Posca pen, <laughs> put it on low air and far away because you can, if it's not, you can go whoosh with the paint. <laughs> Which we, we, we have that demoed on how to clean that up on our yeah, last yeah, lesson. Yeah, on the, yeah, the last little <laughs> thing. The, whoops. Just, it was another one of those whoops. You see all the layers of color that's going on this cat, you guys, by the way? Just, just. Just, I see a lot of colors on the kitty cat. Yeah, they're just, you know, there's layers of, of colors, and, and there's a reason for that, because I wanted to put them on there. But other than that, too, the other reasons, yeah. And uh, so um, I'm going um, to get to switch to a little smaller brush now. And, uh, oh, I got something really tiny. What's this one? Again, this is a... See, again, you can't really tell. This is some... That's a quarter-inch Monza. It's a quarter-inch Monza. Quarter inch Monza. And so That's I'm a gonna, short-haired. The short-haired, because I want something... Uh, now, these have got a... The, these have got a curve a little bit. The um, When you're doing these um, centers here, curve them a little bit. Okay? Ooh, yes and yes. And now it's not such a scary kitty. What is the book? Oh, I think it's way on the other side of the complex here. What are we looking Compton. at? They want to see. You brought up the book. They want to. It's by Ralph somebody. They want to know the name of the book. Well, of course they do, because it's a good book. You should really have that book. I do have the book. It just happens to be over here. Okay, John. Yeah, it's one of those books where, you know, you just, you may, it, look, well, it's it, there. it just will help you with your buying choices, particularly, and I'll tell you where I think this is going to come in handy. Um, we can expect, if things don't improve with people getting back to work soon, that you're going to start seeing shortages of art supplies. And, and paints and colors that, you know, certain companies will just be out of stuff because they haven't, you know, it takes everybody a while to gear up. I'm not, you know, it's so what you want to... Um, We're not putting the fear in you. I'm not putting the fear in you, but a book like that, what, what might be helpful would be, which might show you um, where you could, um, uh, you know, where you, what you could substitute, Right. Well, I really like or this. Or how you and, can make it. Or how you can make it. Maybe they kind of, kind of, there's a little bit of that too, isn't there? Where they kind of well, show you. Well, the book has disappeared. You don't have the book anymore? No, I thought it was up there with the uh, color one, but it's not. Is, that, is it in the closet? No. Could I use it? No, I, I'm going to say no. You know, we just, John will look. Um. It's going to look in there. We didn't need a lot. you notice that I have, look at how much paint I've put out, and I've hardly used any. I want you to see that um, with, this, with this paint. I've hardly used any. And um, You've got tons of paint out there. I've got tons of paint. I'm telling you, you don't, you don't need much. Well, dry it. Ralph somebody. I'll have to find it for next time. Well, do you remember what it's called, the title of it? Um... It's in our, hey, I'll tell you what, it's in our Amazon store, under books. Are you sure? Yes. Positive? Yes. If I go there, will I find it? Yes. Okay. Yes. It's in our Amazon store, under books. Yes, Gingercooklive.gallery slash Amazon. That's it, darling. Whoever came up with that link. Oh, I did. Okay. Now, the trick is when you're doing little, when you're doing highlights and eyes, don't do them t totally white. Do a little bit of blue with it. We're adding the little highlights. There it is. The Artist's Handbook. Oh, there's an easy title. The Artist's Handbook of Materials and Te Techniques by Ralph Mayer. M-A-Y-E-R. Yes. We happened to get ourselves a 1991 edition. I don't think he's done a newer one since then. 
But that's who it is. But I mean, that can be extremely, um, that can be extremely helpful. I think, don't you, John? I do. I do indeed. Um, uh, it's good to have it in hand, especially if you're starting to run out of. There's the link to the book. Just put in. Go, oh, Lynn wrote it down. So we're getting back. Is this a one, two, or three cookie? What this? Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think this looks hard? I don't think so. Is it? Well, let's do some of our other cats first. You know what I mean? Do some of the other cats that we've well, got. I don't think this guy's that hard. I don't know. I I would probably start with this guy. Well, you have a lot of green, but. Well, maybe the flowers, maybe, but I don't I think don't the know. cat's particularly uh, hard, right? And uh, I mean, it's kind of, you know, you, what, what you want to play with is your lights and darks on something like this. Um, and, uh, uh oh. Yeah, I'm kind of, kind of emphasizing the, the, um, the, the, you know, the lighter colors in the, in the greenery, and not trying to be that precise. I'd like to thank Constance for the donation that came in. Would you gift two three-month beginner junior academy to whomever you choose or to those who have entered today? Well, oh, wow, maybe so, huh? I think we can do that. We can make your wish come true. We're like a magic genie. Okay, so we've got the... Now, now that I've decided where everything goes, does that make sense? Now that I've decided where everything goes, I can, um, you know, throw, throw, you know, I can suggest a couple more flowers here and there that might be peeking through. Um, just because I, you know, because like over here, for instance, uh, this is sort of pretty. Let's let's do a. Do a little purple flower down over and down in here, maybe. Just suggest something's happening. And what kind of uh, flowers are those? These are pansies. They are indeed. And are they purple pansies? Well, there's some purple, and I did a yellow one here, but I think it's got to have the purple on it. What do you think? Right here. I should have probably Googled a pansy. I'm kind of doing this one from memory. So you think there are yellow pansies? I know they're yellow pansies, but, you know, they're all different. Does that make sense? That, you know, the nice thing about a pansy flower is that they're, um, you know, that they, the colors, you know, are Let's take a look very, at a yellow one. very different. And they have a dark, let me see what you got going on. Yeah, they got one of those. What you just did Yeah, there. and see, I'm using a, a larger brush because I can make the th strokes on it thinner. Always use your reference, people. You're yeah. on the internet. Use it. Yeah, and that's why I say we. This this was a. Um, uh, I think this is sort of a fun. Ginger, besides cad red medium, what other red is a must-have? Well, naphthol crimson because that's your pure your pure. Um, that's your, your your actual red on the color wheel, right? And I really like magenta. Uh, just uh, particularly if you're into flowers, you can't really make that color, and uh, so that's a good one to um, to have for that very reason. Is it just a little bit tough? You can't really um, make it. And uh, oh, him's looking cute, isn't he? Isn't he looking cute? We haven't done the the whiskers yet, but. Uh, and we got a few little bit more highlights on the white to do. I might even use a, where's that white pen I've got here? Uh, uh, Posca came up with a with a white with a white pen that's like a brush. I don't know if you guys have seen these yet. Uh, 
and they, they come in like 10 colors, but you can, you can, because they're acrylic paint, you can, if they're, they stay wet till you dry them, and you can blend them. So if I want something a little wider, right like there on his face. Ginger, thank you for sharing all your art and life experience with us. Feel like I am learning from an art royalty. Oh. So blessed. Thank you. Thank you. Um, a little bit of white right there. Uh, needed the one little dot of white on those eyes. Yeah. Now, uh, we still need the... Um, uh, the Posca pins are not on Amazon? Yeah, they are. That's where we got them. Maybe they're not in the store. Maybe you didn't put them in the store. Oh, blame me for that. Uh, you then, I'm sorry. It's, you know. Well, you know what? We didn't, sometimes, and, and this isn't exactly an excuse, but it's certainly reasonable, right? <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> now, in all fairness, <laughs> we, we are reluctant to put something in the store unless we've tried it. And I think the reason John hadn't put these in the store yet is because we, we had not had, had a, a chance to really try them and make sure that, uh, you know, we don't want you to buy something. And then, you know, we hate it, you know. I, I'd love to tell you, it's kind of a yay-boo kind of thing with us. We love it or we hate it, right? And um, Yay-boo, I like that. Well, didn't you ever sing the song, yay-boo, yay-boo, it's lots of fun to do. If you like it, holler, yay, if you don't, you holler, boo. Okay, that's a camp song that we did back in Boy Scouts. Yeah. Exactly so, John. Okay. So, wh where's the surprise there? Nope. This is the... If we go through... If we go to Amazon through your store, will it count? Yes, Goldie, and please do. Yeah. I will okay. have to try to remember to put the brush ones in there. They, Since we like them. The queen has been using them. She has embraced them. I know ours took forever to come in. They came from the UK when we finally got oh, them. Oh, yeah, I didn't think we'd ever see them. In fact, Kim got hers before we got ours. You know, and well, then I'm, I'm talking, you know, isn't that funny? Somebody got theirs before we got mine. And, you know, it's not fair. Just, we ordered them first. Yeah, and I told her about it. And, and, and she I, gets hers first. And she, and she said, tell me about it. I said, I don't think, I'll just wait till I can announce it on the show. And she said, no, no, don't do it because then they'll be out. Tell me now. <laughs> <laughs> and then she gets hers before we get ours. All right, so I, I've got a couple more little tips to do on this, but this is, he's kind of getting cute, right, Jim? Kind of. A little, little cute little thing, and let's see. I mean, I'm kind that of like this. That ferocious hunter of the backyard? Absolutely. All right, we're going to be winding this up. I know, another hour and 13 minutes has come and gone. I'm sorry, it's taking too long. Did we take too long for this? Oh, no. We had people stay, uh, when we did our marathon, stay with us a full eight hours. Oh, speaking of marathon, that was an auction marathon. We're not going to do another one of those right now, but we do have our gingercookauction.com running through the 8th of August. And we have still three paintings that nobody's been on. You can still get something for under, I think. Is it reasonably priced. Reasonably priced. And we, we're doing a thing where the, the paintings that have the... Three paintings that have the highest bids on them, okay? The three highest bids, yes, will, um, you know, then have have a thing with a personal. Um, You'll have coffee. Coffee with Ginger over the over Skype. We'll Skype and ch sit and chat. And, you know, we'll ha we'll just have a nice old time and and uh, over something. Over something. We'll talk. We'll talk and you know, <laughs> we'll figure tea out or how coffee to or whatever we're gonna do, you guys. And it should be fun. We're yeah, we were thinking now maybe next. Next auction, we may just offer Ginger as a piece of art. Well, and the other thing is, the next auction, I thought I would see what you guys think about this. As I thought, John is such a technical wizard. I thought it would be fun to auction John off, too, <laughs> as an IOU for when you have a computer problem that you've got automatically got. You can, you can save it for when you need John to help. What do you think? You know, because, I mean, he's really good at that. And uh, he can even, if he has to, get on your computer. And, I have uh, technology. You know, he's really good. He's not the, you know, he would give you his undivided help. and um, Undivided help versus undivided attention? I don't know. Is there a difference? I'm not sure. It's typically undivided attention, but. 
Is it? Typically. Okay. All right. Well. Then. What size Posca acrylic markers do you use on the regular ones, the smallest ones, which is like a .7? The, the fine tip. We have okay. some of each, but she primarily uses the fine tip. And uh, we have four hundred and three thumbs up. Thank you, everyone, for participating in that. You still have one hundred and sixty-seven to go. Yeah, you guys are so fun. I'm almost done with that. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you is remember I told you that I had found this. Um, John, I we had found this. Um, uh, massager on Amazon that really helped with my, you know, sometimes when I'm painting, my even the painting shoulder. on my shoulder. Um, I'm not sure if it's the com computer, typing on the computer or the painting, but every once in a while my arm gets so sore I can't lift it over my head. And um, I know that had happened to Cinnamon a couple times too, where you just, have some some people call it like full frozen shoulder, whatever. Um, Might still work. But, um, uh, Anyhow, I found this. Um, you found it. Well, I, we put it in the wish list. And no, we got didn't. It for me. <laughs> no, we Where'd didn't. Where did you put it? I didn't bring it up. Is it over oh, there? Oh, here it is. It's right in front of me. All right. <laughs> so here's my. Um, Wait, this, let me, I'm going to have to back out a little bit. Back up. This is. And then, then, there you go. And then I want you to focus just on me for it. You see this? Can you see it's got the. Um, Wait a second. Let me get you, back. You, you, turn it, you turn it on down here. Got, it comes with this nifty kit with all these attachments, all right, in a little zippered bag. And you turn it on, and you get it to different speeds, right? Now, focus up on me, right? Well, I'll show people. Just go, the full okay, camera wait, wait, on wait, me. Okay, wait, 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 here we go. Wait, 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 I got to change the camera. Yeah? And hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. So this is what I do. I start putting it here. Oh, and I like here. the vibrations you make. I'm Talk putting again. it here, and then I kind of lift my arm up. And um, I can move it around on my back and my arm, and it releases all the tension. It works like a champ. Just a few minutes on that. Oh, I'll just leave you guys. I'm just <laughs> playing with my toy here. So anyway, I really like this, and it made such a difference. Uh, I've tried a lot of different massagers, and it's called a... Um, Tratronics. Tratronics. And, and again, I don't know if you Now, that it. is in the Amazon store. It's That's under the health. That's Amazon store, and... Uh, it's under just the health stuff. You, I, I just like that. It's a, we like to share stuff like we find that you know works. And I would show you the kit. It comes with like five, what, it's about six attachments and a, and a nice zippered case. So it's kind of cool. All right. So John, I feel uh, pretty confident in our uh, painting here tonight. Um, you know, our ferocious kitty. In our ferocious kitty, uh, we could probably do we could do a little more with her, but I don't think we have to. What photo editor does Ginger use for a pack? She used the uh, Snagit and Corel Painter. Yeah. No photo editor per se. Yeah, so you can see there. There's our kit. There's our jungle kitty. Oh, now here here is the tip. Here is the question of the day from Katie. Ginger, do you think anyone can paint, or is it still a God-given talent? I don't seem to have said talent, but desperately want to. Um, I wish I could tell you that it was a God-given talent because everything is God-given, but everybody got it. He gave it to everybody. How's that? It's a God-given talent, but he access. gave it to it. It's just like, for instance, some people can do math easier than others, but you can learn to add and subtract, right? Well, some, some people of us can. have. Some people can, um, you know, have languages better. You've got to think of painting as a language. And, and you're learning the words. And the thing that will give you the biggest... I, I give you an example of this. I've been teaching for a number of years. And one of the reasons I have people copy what I do step by step is so that you understand how to mix the colors, the brush strokes, what we do. And in our academy, we don't have all this battering back and forth of John and me. It's just me telling you what to do. And you start with the basics and you, and you build on these skills. It's like writing a, a novel... You have to know the language first. And the first thing you're learning is how to spell the words. Like this is the word pansy, this is the word cat eye, this is the word cat nose, and so forth. And then how to put it in a sentence. And so, you know, you don't start to hoping to do Tolstoy when you're still learning to spell cat, okay? But it can be learned. And, and we have had huge success with people who have never painted anything, and what they're doing is phenomenal. And here's the reason why you want to do it even if you suck at it. Particularly as you age, there's only two things doctors have proven reduces aging in the brain. 
One is composing music and the other is painting. Not crossword puzzles, not the rest of it. All those are good. But painting, actually, they said they can show reverses aging in the brain. So you really ought to do it for your health. And wouldn't it be nice to learn how to do it? And personal art coaching, which is what we offer in our senior academy, gets you there faster. And, you know, and that's, that's split my time. speech on that. So, oh, all right. So I think this came out kind of cute. I'm kind of happy with that. Um, I think John, what brand of brushes did Ginger use tonight? We use Silver Brush Company. Silver Brush Company. And, and that we happens use the to be the Ruby, the, you know, Ruby Satin Silver Series. Short angle. handles. That's what I use. What's that 90% of the time? 99% of the time. 99% of the time. So that's what we, yeah, that's what we, we get use. We get them from the brush guys. If you use Ginger Cook, all one word, you can get a 5% discount. Yes. At brushguys.com. Yeah, gen, yeah, Ginger Cook, all one word. You can get that. So, um, anyhow, we, um, I think I'm done with this one. I'm going to put a little black dot here in the middle. I was, this little purple dot right there. That's it. Okay. So, John, someone should be winning this kitty. Somebody and should be, and I'm going to be giving a number as soon as I so, get so my random dot So you can see that we just sort of enlarged this. Here's our kitty. We've enlarged it and Rain given her a... Um, We've given her a... Uh, is it a her or a him? You keep going back and forth. I'm getting so confused on this. Well, I, f I feel it's a... It's a... It should be a guy. He's out it's hunting. A, no, it's a girl. It's always girls. And uh, you said you like girls better. I do. All right. And then I want to mention that this this painting, particularly here, was a, has been awarded. Uh, we had a contest in our Facebook uh, club... If you haven't joined our Facebook club, that's free, Ginger Cook Acrylic Painting Club on Facebook. And a lot of people have been in the doldrums, haven't felt like painting, painting doldrums. Everybody's felt a little stuck. And so we had suggested for two weeks ago, I suggested that um, three, three, three. you paint a couple small little paintings and give them to maybe a central worker or somebody you know that's having going through a rough time to you know, kind of get out of yourself, give the art to somebody else, share it and see what happens. We had about uh, 25 people um, enter, uh, but you had to do at least two paintings and about 16 of them had done at least two. And, um, and I uh, check our Facebook club to see because we did the announcement of there of who won. But that was our, our horses that who won this. And thanks everybody for doing that. And I, I know you don't need a contest to, to you know, give something to an essential worker. And I'm just going to suggest that if you're having a little trouble um, coming up with some reasons to paint, paint for somebody else. All right, who won this baby? I uh, guys just scroll, 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 and find that winner, which is right there. Okay, you're, you're it's going that. down to Florida. Florida, really? Florida. Really? I'm not hot dogging you on this one. Oh, Florida. Okay. It's going the to Florida. Cat yeah. painting. Just uh, somebody wanted to know the brushes we were using. Here's the here's the sizes. One half, let's see, that was one half, well, a quarter inch, three eighths. And then a fine the Posca pen we used for the whiskers was the fine is the fine tip, the extra fine uh, Posca pen is the it has, it has a decimal point seven, should be point seven millimeters. Yeah, then you can see what a nice job it did on the, on the whiskers, there, right? And I can see where I could have done one more little thing, but I'm not gonna. Really? You'll have to do it on yours when you paint it. I should have done a little, couple little dark lines right here on the little cheeks. Could have done that where the little whiskers go. Rose Herzig. Rose Herzig. Yep, is the winner of the kitty cat. Awesome. That's terrific. Yeah, we have a Salvador kit. Going All right, so here's the Salvador kit. We're going to be talking about that. You know, that's going somewhere. And, uh, listen, we appreciate the fact you guys are saying where you are. It's fun. When we have a global audience, it's nice to mention the country you're from, too. We, uh, it's exciting to see that there's so many people watching. We, we know we've got Malta and Israel and, and uh, England and Canada and Australia and New Zealand, but it's fun if you, so we like that when you mention where you're from, and if you just mention the city, we don't know enough about your country to know where that would be. 
Just yeah. saying, when you enter these things. So here's the, comes with these brushes, a palette knife, here's the Salvador brush kit, 24 colors plus an extra tube of white. Winner of the Salvador, the Salvador and is, store. And this is courtesy of Salvador Paint. Paints, which we appreciate very much. If you want to try these, you can find these on our uh, uh, Amazon store and use the discount code below. If it's still working, it gives you an extra 50 15 percent off but you know they were only 25 dollars to start with which we think is really a heck of a deal it's less than a couple tubes of regular paint so we think it's a great deal myself and primrose from somewhere primrose primrose jones primrose jones all right and she hangs her hat and uh, Hampshire, UK. All right, Primrose, congratulations. Congrats. So these are going, the Salvador paint sets are going to the UK. Um, you notice the back of the color wheel. See how pretty the, the colors are in here. See how we picked up some of these colors with our purple? You did a you know? marvelous job. See? Now, we did have Connie who wanted to give away a Back to Basics. Back to basics uh, set, yeah. So let's go ahead and do one of those drawings if we could. Okay, so did you cook on, de on, on demand? It's going to be f uh, there? No, this would be the... Um, did you... No, th this the is beginner the beginner acrylic painting club? The big <laughs> beginner acrylic paint... Uh, beginner okay, we acrylic, have too many websites. Beginneracrylicartist.com for beginner... Be, you know, for Beginneracrylicartist.com, the basic supporter for three months. Basic supporter got. for three months? For okay. Three months. That's what we got coming up now. Okay. And the number is that number there. And I gotta go over here. Gotta so find John's gonna number. look at that. And so basically if someone said, what is again if you came in late, what is a basic supporter? A basic supporter, uh, what what you get when you're a basic supporter is from twenty we started this in twenty twenty. And we thought that so that gives you the references of all the videos that we, we have done for uh, YouTube in 2020, even the quarantine quickies, and not just the paintings I did, but the actual reference photos. If we, we bought the reference photo, you have access to that too. As we take down the quarantine quickies, those are still available for our basic supporters as well as our other Academy members. And um, uh, occasionally we throw in a free video. So it's, you know, for four ninety five a month, you don't have to keep going every month, but once in a while you ought to check in, at least do that. It's sort of a, that that's what that is on our Beginner Acrylic Academy. And um, it's an easy thing to do. And it's and the other thing is some people have felt like we had a lot of commercials I, in, at YouTube. There's no one to talk to at YouTube anyway. There's no, nobody's home anywhere in the country except at Wayfair, I think. You can actually talk to somebody at that Wayfair company, but I'm not sure, and Apple. But other than that, I'm not, not sure I've been able to re reach a live soul anywhere. But um, any event, the uh, uh, if, if you like the idea of watching our videos and replaying them, afterwards, the ones that we've done from 2020 on, uh, watch them from our Beginner Academy site. Click on there because the the commercials just don't show up. So who won that, John? Uh, winner of the three months of the Basic Supporter membership is Ronald Con Conardi? Conardi Jr. Okay, Ronald, congratulations. And we have one more of those to do. All right, let's do let's another one. another number here. I use random.org to generate my numbers. Yeah, so we had, had, how many entries did we have today, John? We had 334. Can I pick a number? Uh, well, okay. I don't, I'm sitting across from you. I don't know who it is. I want to pick number four. Number four? Yeah. Who's four? Number four. Some of these early bird people, sometimes I think they enter too early, they, they're going to get overlooked. So let's see, who's number four? Teresa Maine from Boston. Teresa Maine from Boston. Congratulations, basic supporter. Okay, so Teresa, if you're already a basic supporter, and you're already a basic supporter, then what you can do is you can, um, uh, yes. you'll get one credit from our Ginger, uh, Ginger Cook video on demand site. So you can get one free downloadable lesson, one credit lesson, okay? So we have a lot of those, so that might be something. And I want to give away one more, John. Everybody's been so... I want to give away one more, okay? And I'm going to pick a number, too. I, I can't see his number, so I'm going to pick one. You said how many people did we have? 334. 
Okay, I'm going to go 322. Yes. Teresa and, May. And okay. Then what? The, there you go, Teresa. What you have won there is. What'd you say? 322, and that person has won a complimentary village set uh, lesson, downloadable lesson, in a Ginger Cook on Demand. You can pick out any of that. We sell them in, 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 in sets of two. Except for in, one of them. Except for one of them. We sell them in sets of two. That's the village piece. That's um, this right here. One of these, it'll be a lesson on, on, on one of these, the, the two shops. We have, they, they come in a, a lesson of two at a time. So that person will have won that. Gingercookondemand.com. Oh, goodness gracious. I, you know, who's keeping track of all this? Oh, I guess I am. You're keeping track of that, right? So you tell so, you use the contact, uh, contact us and tell John which set you would like. Okay. That is Heather Gardner. Congratulations, Heather. So this was fun, you guys. I hope you all had a good time. Um, congratulations to all our winners. We appreciate you subscribing to our channel, sharing the videos. I hope you had fun with this one. And um, we'll see you Thursday for John's pick. Oh, and he's got one picked out. All right. So hope this was fun, and thanks, you guys. For village and thanks to our moderators for hanging in there with us, too. We appreciate uh -huh. you guys very much. And we'll all, we're all in this together, and we'll just get through this another day. And thanks for everybody that contributed and donated tonight. We appreciate it very much. Great love here for you. Is that all you have, my queen? Yeah, bye. All right, everybody, we're going to leave you on a chuckling note because we can do that. If we know what we're doing, we can do that. Wait, yeah, I guess I do. We'll try it. One of the features that is offered on our website for, and let's try again. <laughs> Besides a certificate of authenticity on the paintings, which is really the best feature. <laughs>